What's up guys? Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about my five favorite winter fragrances for the winter. Uh, these are not in any specific order, but they are, they cover the price ranges. So from very cheap clone to expensive fragrances. Uh, so I guess I'll go ahead and I'll do it from probably from cheapest to most expensive. Um, so for the cheapest clone, or for the cheapest fragrance is going to be a clone of Louis Vuitton's Ombre Nomad. This is going to be Mason Alhambra's Ombre. Um, very good fragrance, very long lasting, projects very loudly. Um, I used to actually wear this one in all types of temperatures, uh, which, you know, I guess it changes at the end. You know, I wasn't really into fragrances at the time. We made sure to dial that one back because I was wearing that one in Florida during the summer. Uh, so definitely have not done that uh, but I've only been sticking it to the cold with that one uh, just because it is a very it's a monster so you spray one maybe two uh, sprays on yourself the person across the room is gonna be smelling uh, so that's gonna be my number one at the most at the cheapest uh, next one is going to be spice bomb just the regular one regular spice bomb EDT um, I did used to have infrared EDT. Um, I believe it was an EDT. I'm not sure if it was EDT or EDP. It was EDT. It was the older release of the red one. I did like it, but I've tried Spice Bomb Extreme. I've tried Night Vision. Night Vision actually smells good on other people, in my opinion. Um, I tried the new, uh, the new Spice Bomb that came out, the infrared. Parfum or EDP, not completely too sure uh, what it is, but I'm still sticking to this one. Still hasn't made me want to buy another Spice Bomb. Still want to stick with the original. Um, I believe I got this one for maybe 50 bucks, maybe 40 bucks. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be the second cheap fragrance out there. Third one is going to be a Mancera. This one's going to be Mancera's Royal Vanilla. So this one is, when you first spray it, it is very feminine, or kind of feminine. Um, but after wearing it, after it dries down, it goes completely unisex. Uh, I'm not sure if there's oud in here, but it, I feel like it has that Mancera funky oud. Um, I'm not too sure, and I don't really look at the breakdowns. But yeah, uh, definitely worth the pickup for the winter. Uh, next one is going to be um, a replica by the fireplace. Very popular fragrance, um, especially for the winter. Um, this one, if you haven't smelled it before, just go ahead and smell it at Sephora. Um, that's where I smelled it for the first time. Really good fragrance. Um, smells exactly like what it says, burning like by the fireplace. Um, this one I wear and my girlfriend also wears all the time. That's why it looks like a bigger dent. But, uh, and then the last one is going to be the most expensive one. Uh, compared to more, you know, what's out there, this is pretty moderately expensive. Doesn't get too crazy. Uh, so this is going to be a clone, well not a clone, this is going to be Vertus Vanilla Oud. Um, I did make a fragrance that kind of smells similar to this one before I even knew about this fragrance. It was just kind of a fun thing to, new, to, to do in New York City. Um, but smells like this fragrance mixed with Creed. Um, I wish I had the note breakdown for it, but I don't. Um, I might reach out to them to see if they can send me the note breakdown for my fragrance that I created. Uh, but most expensive one is going to be Vertus Van La Oud. I believe it was around 150 is how much I got it for. Um, but yeah, these are my favorite winter fragrances to wear uh, from the cheapest to the most expensive one. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please let me know. Uh, if you guys have any other recommendations or what you like to wear in the winter, please leave that down in the comments. Please leave a like, subscribe, have a good one.